voicemail? Uh, I'm getting it back. <laughs> Yesterday was almost down to zero. Another exciting selection Sunday. You know, I told Stevie and Jop and Cam, can't believe it's three years, you know, we've been here, um, here at the Mecca, celebrating going to the tournament. Uh, but obviously for us, we're grateful to be in the tournament. We're excited to be in the tournament. We're not satisfied just to be in it. Um, looking forward to heading down to Indy this week. Actually, you know, Coach Lutz pretty well from Western Kentucky. He does a heck of a job. Uh, we were assistants at the same time for a while. Uh, and then he was terrific with Matt Painter at Purdue. Uh, so we'll dive in and get to know their team. But, you know, more importantly, it's about being the best us. And that's what we work toward all year. What's your process when you find out your opponent? What are you getting into tonight? How do you lay out the week? I've changed a lot. You know, when I was younger, it's like stay up until three in the morning, watch the tape. Um, but you don't win the game on Sunday night, you know. And again, no matter how much tape you watch of the opponent, if your main guys are not in a good place, then it doesn't matter what you do preparation-wise. So uh, we'll, we'll definitely dive in to Western Kentucky, get to know everything they do offensively, defensively, the personnel. But more importantly, it's helping our guys um, move forward from the last three games, the last three days, um, you know, and, and moving towards being the best us on Friday. Is Tyler definite for round one, or is it just going to wait and see? Or? The plan is for him to play, but you know, he's got to go through a progression this week. And so once we get back on the practice court, um, you know, we'll be able to, to continue that progression. I will say this, we got back late last night. It always takes a while traveling back from New York. I walked back in the office to grab some different things. And Tyler walked in, I'm like, what are you doing? He said, I'm gonna go do some ball handling. So, I mean, he, he has a level of, uh, excitement and passion because he feels like he's going to play. So now we just got to check the boxes we need to check so that he can. What did you just think of everybody else kind of holding down the fort without Tyler? Or yeah, we played six games without him. Um, hopefully that's the end of that, you know, for this year. We understand he won't be here forever. Uh, but, you know, for the rest of this year, we want him leading the charge. Uh, I thought our guys did a really good job doing their best to play Marquette basketball without Tyler. And the fact is, he's been such a big part of Marquette basketball, culturally, defensively, and probably most importantly, offensively, ever since he got here. So when you take a piece like that out of the equation, there's some challenges. I thought of the six games, we played the majority of the minutes pretty darn well on the offensive end, all things considered. There were definitely stretches, certainly last night at times, where we looked like a team playing without its best offensive player. Um, and I thought Cam did a heck of a job filling in as a primary ball handler. I thought it was valuable experience for him, and he'll be better off for it now with Tyler coming back and also long-term, um, Stevie, Jop, O, Chase, Ben, and our, and our two freshmen, they stepped forward, they did a little bit more. I thought O was more assertive with Tyler being out. Um, believe it or not, it actually hurt us just as much on defense, Tyler being gone, because he's such a good team defender and he's our best communicator down there. What's coming some about Oso and Stevie and maybe their availability for but You're gonna have to cut their leg off for them to not play. They'll be out there. How what? do you go about preparing this week, you know, practicing versus resting their bodies before this game? Yeah, it's a big deal and you know, we're coaching a team but we're also coaching individuals. And so not everyone's in the same position body wise. Some of our guys were in the gym today already. You know, it's an off day so we didn't there's no workouts, but 
some of our guys, the guys you mentioned, you know, they need significant rest. Anytime you play three hard fought games, three consecutive nights, uh, they were late nights, all of them, wasn't a lot of sleep. So that you, there's a need for rejuvenation. So the guys have played heavy minutes, they'll be off again tomorrow. Um, and then on Tuesday, our whole team will come together and get back into full practice. Having that first game Friday rather than Thursday, how much of a difference does that make and just having made sure there was no these spots? It just, there, it's that, it's very it just gives you an extra day. Uh, but to be honest, the best part about it is for the guys that played this past weekend and for Tyler, you know, just, just another 24 hours to get ourselves where we want to be for when that ball goes up in the air. Uh, playing in Indy, obviously you guys are going to have a pretty sizable crowd to come up there. Come up. Oh, come on, Marquette Nation. We love y'all. Um, I thought our fans were awesome in New York. And, man, can't wait to see as many of you as possible in Indy. Um, we don't take for granted the fact that we're a two seed, and that gave us the opportunity to be as close as possible. Um, you know, I told our guys, 18% of Division One players get to play in the NCAA tournament every year. So we're grateful to even be in a tournament, but to earn this good of a seed, it's great for our team, it's great for our fans, and now we want to make the most of it. We good? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody.